At Presswick Facility, we are the lead manufacturer of leading edge and trailing edge structures for Airbus on the A320 programme and A350. We currently do assembly and we are looking at bringing fabrication of certain components back to the Presswick site. The Willet programme was already set up to do a number of other technology developments that Spirit were participating in. This was a, a natural fit for the Willet programme as it's a stepping stone for our longer term composite technology development for composite wing structures. Spirit Aerosystems have been involved with redesigning the current single aisle spoilers. What they're used for is lift dumping in air, so to control the aircraft speed, for roll control, and as an air brake on ground as well. Our customer Airbus approached us um, with a challenge of reducing the cost of our spoilers package. The key challenge was that the spoiler had to look as it is today, perform exactly as it is today, and had to have the same weight as well. Traditionally, manufacture of composite components has been a hand laid up manual sort of process. So by automating it and reducing the number of hours that it takes us to build it, we've managed to show a very competitive business case and actually win the work here in Presswick. Securing the spoiler project was a critical milestone for the Presswick facility. It demonstrated our ability to develop low-cost, innovative composite solutions. There'll be about 20 million, over 20 million investment into the company, strategically aligned to winning new work, and it's bringing new skills and over 100 jobs into the facility. The single aisle spoiler production line is not like a traditional aerospace factory in that everything is built in one jig or in one station. What we've tried to create is much more like an automotive uh, production environment with a pulse line and the target is to produce more than 600 spoilers per month. You're looking at multiple parts a day and that's why we've looked at a new approach for manufacturing. The ATI's investments in Scottish organisations like Spirit Aerosystems and the University of Glasgow are hugely significant in growing the R&D capabilities of those organisations but of the overall Scottish sector as well. The combined support from the ATI and from Scotland ensures that the UK retains its position as the European number one for aerospace and the global number two for aerospace and delivers the ATI strategy of uh, raising ambition. Without the ATI funding, this project would not have happened. The ATI are extremely approachable, offer advice and guidance as you go along the process, and they're a really good go-to point to understand what the key technologies are that the UK want to invest in. For the UK, this project is the absolute first for this technology being deployed into aerospace, and from a local Presswick site, it is the industrialisation of composite technology in Scotland. Mm -hmm.